Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday Tea Talk. Welcome to Pathology. We got our tea here. We're drinking uh, sleepy, I'm drinking sleepy time tea and Emily's drinking throat, throat coat. Yeah, throat coat. It's my favorite tea. Mm-hmm. And today we are dyeing some eggs for Easter, even though Easter was last week. We're still gonna, we're still gonna color these eggs. It was only two days ago, right? Yeah. Yep. It was Sunday. So yeah. So that's what we're doing. So we got the, we got, uh, these magical color cups and I also got a regular, you know, Easter dyeing kit with these little tablets, but Easter dyeing kit. <laughs> yeah. Easter dyeing and yeah. Easter egg coloring. So here is the cup. I mean it, so the color just already comes in the cup. And it comes with these cups and it's already there. You just pour in the water and vinegar and that's what makes it uh, colored. So we're going to do that. And I'm, I don't know how we're going to show this to you. I guess we'll, we'll just, just do it. maybe do it and then show them what our eggs look like. Okay. Or a few of them. I got this cup though for these tablets. So I'm just going to dump all of these tablets in this cup. Why? I don't know. They'll be brown. Well, maybe I'll dump the blue and blue and purple one. Yeah, that sounds good. Or something like that. So or like purple and pink or something. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We got I uh, got the eggs over there, and here's some. There's the eggs. You know, hard boiled egg. The camera stopped on us. I don't know why. So I'm gonna continue. So I think they're cooked all the way through. And they're just harder to make. You know, when I put them in the water, two of them cracked immediately. So, oh well, I got them done though. And let's get started. So, yeah. One thing that's, <coughs> excuse me. Did I talk to you guys since I went to my parents' house for Easter? I think so. Okay, well, if I already told you this, I apologize, but I just thought it was so funny that my two nieces and nephew really just wanted to eat the hard boiled eggs. They just wanted to peel it and eat it. Ooh, that is pretty. It's bubbling. Oh. So when they were making it, they were just eating them? Yeah, they wanted to color them, but like not really. They just, they were more concerned about like eating them because I think they eat hard boiled eggs a lot. So they know how to peel them. So they were like banging them on the thing, on like the counter outside. And we're like, what are you doing? And they're like, That's we're going to so eat funny. these eggs. Yeah. Like, they're like, grandma, you made these eggs for us, right? She's like, well, to color them. That's funny. Can I get those scissors? Scissors? Yeah, right there. Oh. I got to open this packet. What color are you going to mix in there? Uh, I think there's a pink one in here, so I'm going to put this pink one, this one. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Would and, you like one of these little wire um, egg holders to dip your eggs in? I'm just going to do this. Okay. Whoop. This is... <laughs> I got nothing. I got none on my fingers. Oh, I got to fill it up a little bit more. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try dipping my egg in. This is going to be complicated. Trying not to get stuff everywhere. I'm going to move one over here. Yeah, go for it. This one is still fizzing. Are these all <clears throat> mixed up? I don't know. Yeah. I'm yeah. Just, this does not matter. I don't need to be a perfectionist about coloring Easter eggs. Nope. They also come with these uh, crayons. Oh, yeah. What do you, I kind of want to do that. Are you supposed to? Does that happen before? Yes. You draw on the egg with like the invisible crayon. It's just wax. And then that part doesn't get colored. Oh, wow. I did not know that. So I have little experience with this. No, I guess I did it a little bit as a kid. I never, I really, okay, for me, I looked more forward to the uh, Jello eggs. I really like, my my mom had, you know, a mold that was in the shape of an egg, and I would, 
you know, it was always fun to have those. I don't know if we had those on Easter every time. I'm sure we did. That sounds pretty good. But they were good. Yeah, I love the. What's the your blue, favorite flavor? The blue. Uh huh. I like the blue. I like the grape. You know, if if that's an option. I don't know if I've ever had grape Jello, but I'm sure it's an option. I think that would be good. And yeah, so hmm. I loved dying Easter eggs as a kid, but also Easter egg hunts. I didn't go on very many of them. Really? I mean, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't know where my metal wire... Oh, yeah, it's right here. This one's yours? I got mine. Oh, is that one mine? It doesn't matter. I'm going to put this egg in this... I'm going to put this egg in the red one. But I don't know if I can do it with the wire. I don't even know if this is enough. I'm just going to drop it. If You think it's going to crack? Ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, this is stressful. Ah! There we go. Everyone, this does not really compare to when we did the gingerbread house on Tuesday Tea Talk. This is this is higher stakes. You have eggs that you can crack and dye that you can get everywhere. I my hands are dyed. Oh, it's so funny. You should wear your gloves. I will. We got uh she has she's using the uh kitchen gloves. <laughs> I don't want to get dye all over my hands because I'm going on a work trip tomorrow and that might be kind of weird. Yeah, you're going to Dallas. I'm going to Dallas tomorrow. My plane leaves at like 10.30 a.m. So I feel like that is such a nice time. It's not too early, but I'll still get there when it's daytime. Yeah, It's going to be like 80 degrees. Oh, wow. Which... Today's high in Indy was 79. Wow. I'm going to do I'm going to do the orange one. Okay, I'm just going to talk. I wonder if they used I wonder if this is made of a uh, copper. There's no way this is made of copper. It might be. I feel is like, copper like a bendable metal? Yeah, it's a very um it's yeah, it is. It's a soft metal. That's probably why, because they want you to be able to easily bend it. Well, I just wonder if this cost a lot of money. This has to be aluminum. <clears throat> How much did the, each of these kits cost? This is aluminum. Uh, oh. This one cost, I think, a a dollar fifty. This is the nice one, and then this one, the other one I got that is taken apart so I could put eggs on it. Um, I think it was like maybe fifty cents, because it would be a dollar, but there was a save fifty cents on it, so. But that's because everything was marked off. So this was originally $3. I think this is the premium one, which is very nice because it comes with the cups in it already and you can just, you know, do your thing and not have to worry about it. So, but yeah, um, I saw on the news a couple things. One, um, Facebook act was hacked and over 550 million uh, cell phone numbers were leaked. That is crazy. And it was, um, I think it was not talked about uh, until recently, and it happened in January. And so it's just now, you know, being making the news. And then I also saw, which I don't know who has LG. Oh, wow. That's nice. Nice. Do you want to put that? Green, like blue green stripes. Are you done with it? Yeah. Should we just put it on this thing? Yeah, just, I would leave it right there because I don't think there's any other spot for it. Here, I can set it down. Okay. Um, so I saw that LG, the like brand, is not making cell phones anymore. They, they've really? given up because last year they lost, I think, $4 billion on it. So, but I don't know who, who has LG phones. Is that the competitor to iPhone? That's, um, is it? One of them. Samsung is. Samsung. Wait, is Samsung and LG the same thing? I no, don't know. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. Hmm. But yeah, I'll take a, uh, I'll take <clears> another <throat> egg as well. I want to try to dip one half and half. You're crazy. That was my favorite thing to do as a kid was like hold it in there halfway in, 
let it dry, and then try to dip it perfectly on the other half. It never does, but. Um, what else is happening today? Oh, there was, there was some other news I wanted to mention that I read, but I don't really know. I forget what it is now. Oh, Yahoo Answers. So Yahoo Answers is closing now. They're, they're shutting down Yahoo Answers. What is Yahoo Answers? It's, it's bef- like Google? Um, yeah, not really. It was a forum that was used a lot. Do you remember, uh, what's it called? Cha-Cha from a long oh, time ago? Oh, yes. Ask rem- Cha-Cha? Yeah. So, I forgot about that. But before like Reddit was a big deal where you would ask questions and whatever, Yahoo Answers was like the main, like a main place to go to for any questions. So, which is similar to the other forum. I don't know what they're called. The one that always pops up that you don't really want to read, but you do anyways. It's like Cura, Cura or something. I don't know. It starts with a Q. Oh, Quora. Quora, yeah. No, no one likes Quora. Maybe they do. I don't know. So Yahoo Answers is going away. Isn't that crazy? Wow. And Times are changing. I know. That's pretty. It looks like marbled. Here's my pink egg. It's not very good. Then here's my blue one. I'm going to make this blue one super blue. It looks really good. How you're supposed to make it. And <clears throat> anything else? Has anyone ever stayed at the Aloft Hotels? It's like a Marriott brand. I feel like... I've definitely almost stayed there. Like A L O F T, but all a one word. Hmm. Yeah. That's where I'm staying. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Yeah. Um Hmm. I don't know what else I don't know. <laughs> I'm so focused I on know, these I eggs. It's hard to to talk and uh do this. What happened today? I was very busy today, which was nice. I didn't have anyone else in my pod today. So I felt like I was able to get a lot accomplished, which ever since I started my new position, oh man, I'm messing up my egg. I'm just going to drop it all in there. This is not working out. It's it's fine. I wanted to do half and half, but my... Ever since you started your new position? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ever since I started my new position, I am busy every day at work. Like, no extra time. They're on one of the floors of my building. Like, we are on a high up floor. I think I've told them before, 25th floor, so that's fine. Of a building downtown. And for ever since I've started at the company, like last summer... Um, none of like the communal areas of the building have been open. So there's a gym that anyone who like as a tenant of the business building can use like, cause you have a fob that works for it. Um, so the gym just recently opened, which is nice. And then there's also like a tenant lounge where there's a pool table, ping pong. I don't know what else. Ooh, you mean to give you the green? Okay. Um, but then there's a balcony off of the tenant lounge with tables and I really want to like go down there and eat lunch because I'm obsessed with sitting outside. It's not weird. Like I just love sitting outside when it's warm. Like it's amazing. It kind of kills me that our balcony here is a stand up only balcony, which is not uncommon. Like we, when we drive around and see other apartments in Indy, like there's plenty of them where you actually can't even go out and step onto it. Mm-hmm. It's just like a sliding door that allows like air to come in and you could maybe fit like a little plant on there. So I'm glad that I can go out there and I could drag like a, a stool or something onto our balcony. And I've done that before. But I can't wait for someday when I have like a porch or a deck, which we used to have at our old apartment, but not here. So as the weather gets nicer, I I love eating outside. 
of sitting outside, taking walks, reading, doing homework outside, anything. I will go down to our apartment's communal area and sit in one of the chairs like by myself, even if it's weird. I'm like, well, whatever. We have these really weird rocking chairs that are extremely uncomfortable, but I will go for it. It doesn't matter. Here's my red egg. It's it's very red. It's the same color as his microphone. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. It looks like a I'm not tomato. That. Here's the red egg. That's so crazy. It looks like a Coca-Cola egg. Yes. It's like candy red. Here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, that's very crazy. I'm going to put this other tab in this red one. Just to see what happens. Um, hmm. The yellow one's going to look like a lemon. Yeah, I wonder if this changes the taste of, egg, of the egg. I don't think so. <clears throat> I'm gonna. I'm also gonna put this purple one and this pink one, because this pink one's not very good. I think it is, but go ahead. It's fun to mix the colors. These little tabs. These little tabs are powerful. Man, Michael. Yeah. What are you gonna do while I'm gone? <clears throat> I've been gone so much recently. Honestly, I'm probably just going to do schoolwork because uh, tomorrow I have to turn in a quiz. Thursday I have class. Friday I have to work on a class project that's due on Saturday. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. And my team hasn't met yet, but... Do the same team as you had before? Yeah, I think so. I think so. So I hope so. But we uh, will meet tomorrow we'll meet thursday night so we like you don't normally meet until after class or during class so we use this thing called philo it's it's kind of interesting so you go to this website it's all connected to zoom i think it's a startup and you go to file like you go to philo and then from there you join a zoom and then from that zoom your professor can move you to another classroom through Philo, and then that's how you get to your group. So it's kind of interesting to see like how you know who you end up with. But I mean, I've had the same group every time, so I assume we're just going to stay together. Um, but yeah, we'll meet on Thursday, and then Friday I'm probably going to have to just work on it most of Friday night. And yeah, what's the project? It's actually something about. Uh, Benny Hanna. No way. Mm -hmm. um, like the what is that called? The Japanese the steakhouse Japanese or yeah, yeah. what is it called where they cook in front of you? Oh, that special hibachi. word. Yeah, hibachi. So <clears throat> we're we have to like analyze Benny Hanna and see. I think it's about. I don't fully know yet because we'll talk more about it in class. But it's something about how Benny, Benny Hanna is set up and the operations that go into serving customers and why and like how they became so successful in the 80s. Hmm. And like how it's like reviewing, it's like a case of how Benny Hanna set up their operation. And so it like how they set up their restaurant and everything like that. So I guess every Benihana is very much the same or very similar. And so you have your certain hibachi grills right here. You have your little bar over here and how it's spaced out has become, I don't know, I guess iconic or something. Can I have the crayon? Yeah. I think there's another one in here. Oh. So that's what, that's probably what I'll be doing. Do you guys like Benihana? Have you ever been there? Do you guys have those in your area? You know, I've only been to Benihana one time, actually. I mean, really? I've been, yeah, with I'm, our friends. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've been to Hibachi, but we never had, you know, a Benihana. I mean, you know, like Danville, Virginia, is not going to have a Benihana. You know, Benihana is a uh, expensive Hibachi place, I oh. think. So, and looks, I guess, except if you go there during lunch and stuff, but compared to, you know, like 
your just regular old mom and pop hibachi place, they're going to compete with, you know, their prices are probably going to be cheaper than Benihana. But Benihana, I mean, it's it does taste amazing. We used to have a hibachi place that we would go to where we used to live. It was in the mall. What was it mm. called? Oh, I don't know. Kansai? Kansai. Kansai, It yeah. was pretty good. We mm-hmm. only went there if the work took us. Because, mm-hmm. like, I don't I, know. We just I, didn't care about it. I mean, me and you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We never went. But I used to go with friends. Really? At, at lunch, yeah. Because... At lunch, you can get a full meal there for, I think it's $8. And, and you can get chicken and shrimp for 8 bucks. And if you want steak, it's like 10 It was very good. Mm. It's a full plate. I love the shrimp. I love dipping shrimp fried rice into yum yum sauce. That's funny. Yeah, yum yum, mm. yum sauce is so good. If you're still watching this, comment down below, hibachi. <laughs> Hibachi. Do you like hibachi? You might have already answered that. What do you get when you go there? If you do go there, if you do have it, I'm sure if you're, yeah, I'm sure not everyone would have it, but is there some sort of like, is there a certain meal or food that you like to make or eat when I'm gone? Me? Yeah. Um, not really. No. I mean, if, like it, I think one time when you were gone, I got a King Doe pizza that had grapes on it. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So I feel like that would be gross. Yeah, which I know that sounds gross, but for real, it's not. It's actually good, y'all. It's it's I like it. I don't know. It's like actual like you know sweet grapes. So that was good, but no, not really. I mean, I'll probably get Chipotle one day, and I don't know what else. Just probably go whatever. to the grocery store. Yeah, I'll probably just go to the grocery store, do whatever, maybe make some steak. But I, there's nothing I would really eat that I wouldn't have here when you're I guess here. I'm not going to be gone that long. No, for a couple of days. Yep. So. I used to, when you would be gone, mm-hmm. I would get fish sticks. Ew. <laughs> gross. I know, because that's why, because of that reaction. That's so gross, yeah. Oh, Wow. Yeah, here's my here's the pink egg that is Get semi it out before it semi purple. Oh gosh, maybe dry it off ah. and then show them. Oh goodness, Michael. We're gonna do this. You can see this, right? Ooh, there it is. It's half. It's partly purple, kind of pink on top. I like the pink circle. Yeah, that's why I want you to get it out. Okay. And then I think that's cool. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. This is, I can see how this would be so messy with kids. Yeah. That's why we did it outside with the other kids. No, that's smart. That's very smart. This is, this would be a, a nightmare. If you, this would be hard if you had like a nice area. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, um, your yellow one's still going. Yeah. I like this. I'm mm-hmm. going to take it out soon. I I like this lighter color. Yeah. Um, what else is happening? Hmm. Today was good at work. Nothing too crazy happened. So my day was kind of whatever. Just kind of worked. Stayed here. Did, did that. So tomorrow... I am, I might go to Costco tonight if I have time. I might. Well, yeah, I might go tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to the industry to pick up our friend, some candles from, that our friends left there at the rehearsal. Is that what what I'm doing? The reception. The reception. Yes. So, they had a bunch of like face masks that they stamped with their own little personal a wedding hashtag which was cute they were white masks um but they left a stack from there and then apparently some extra candles so you can't leave anything at the venue mm. so they're on their honeymoon i'm leaving tomorrow so michael's saving the day like for the third time with this wedding so that's what i'm doing tomorrow and i'll probably take you with me 
when we go to the industry. I don't know if I went there. I probably can't go inside that long, but I can show you the outside. That's nice. Yeah. I like the colors. Kind of reminds me of Rugrats. Very, yeah, it does. Tie-dye. Like, okay, I'm going to set a, it over there. Yeah. Um, I'll show you this blue one, and then you want to... You wanna, Maybe I should think of more things to say. Sorry if this has been boring. Ooh. Here's the blue one. It's crazy blue. Here, would you like to dry it off? Mm. Set it down here. I'm scared too. Ah. There we go. So. This color of blue reminds me of the famous blue jello at MCL Cafeteria. What's that? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? M is that a chain? MCL. Okay, it could not be a chain, but I'm pretty sure it is. The MCL Cafeteria. Mm. It's like a cafeteria style restaurant where you go around, like you can just get whatever you want. Mm. I know. Anyway, they had blue jello. Looked a lot like this. You, I might have mentioned this before, but Jello, the company was, uh, they're making a office Jello thing. What's that? Like for the show, The Office, they're making a Jello mold that I guess like there's a stapler in it or something. Oh, that's funny. I don't, is that from? I think that's from one of the episodes. Yeah. So that's funny. Like it's, you can do that. So they're selling those somewhere. So, oh, wow. man, I really wish I could have found the uh, Peeps Pepsi, but I can't find it anywhere. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. But I really didn't look that hard, but Whoa. I'm sure I could. Yeah, that's super yellow. That is neon. Mm -hmm. Should I set it over there? Yeah. You want to get the green and the this orange one out? tie-dye yeah i want to tie-dye something i feel like that's a mess <laughs> you really have to do that outside yeah but maybe we can someday okay this is random but kind of reminds me from tie-dye so <clears throat> have you guys ever seen the trend it's been on tiktok but it's probably been on instagram too or other places where people will strip their towels or other like sheets or a quilt or something like that. They'll put it into their bathtub, like a bunch of bath towels and then pour or just put water in it. I think, I don't think they put any other, maybe they put detergent in there. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that color. Mm-hmm. No, they have to put some sort of like soap and stuff. Anyway, they take like a, a broom stick and like mix it around. Maybe it's vinegar and just let the, the towels sit in the bathtub for like a few hours. And then they will take them out and the water will be black. And they're like, this is like a deep clean of your towels. I don't know. That, that reminds me of tie dye because of like. That's the not water. Real. That's not real. I've seen it a I know, million but times. I think it's thus the the acid in the the acidity from whatever they're using taking it out of the towels. Do you think it's just the dye from the yeah, towel? But like yeah. if your towel's been washed, you know, hundreds of times, do you think there's really any dye left to come out yeah, with that? Because the detergent is has a different pH level than straight up vinegar or whatever they're using. So, yeah, I do. And it doesn't sit in water as long. So, but I don't, I don't believe that because, you know, I just don't. But that's still, I mean, I guess that's interesting though. Has anyone ever tried it? Yeah, I watched someone I kind of want here. to. I think, you know, if they did that to white towels, then I would believe them. Yeah, that's true. Not just, uh, you know, whatever, multicolors. So, but whatever, people believe whatever. So, well, I'm going to, you want to show the eggs? Yeah. Ooh. 
Here are all the eggs. They're pretty. I know. They're so nice. The the red egg, I don't know if you can see it, but the red egg is getting kind of splotchy. But it's cool. this one's the best, I think. Yeah. It's subjective. <laughs> I like all of them. Do you guys like eating hard-boiled eggs? Because I kind of want to eat one. I just want to peel it. I think that would be fun. Right now? I mean... No. No, maybe not. They probably they probably look like the color that they're dyed, so partly. Actually, I have peeled a dyed Easter egg before, and um, it did kind of have some dye on the outside. But you can wash it off. Oh, okay. Um, I like poached eggs. Oh, okay. Uh, and I think poached eggs with bread is so good, like a mm-hmm. toast. It has a special flavor to it or something. It is just, that where you can, like, soak up the yolk? Oh, I guess you can do that, too, yeah. With the bread? Yeah, you can. I mean, I'm just thinking, I don't know, a poached egg it just tastes different with toast. Mm-hmm. It's, I think it's the, I think, well, I have memories of it as a kid, but I think it's the sulfur smell of the egg connected with the uh, smell of the bread being toasted just mm-hmm. has a special, like, combination. A special memory that triggers yeah, for you? That or, yeah, probably. Or maybe like the scent of it is just unique or something. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. But yeah. You want to end it here? Yeah. Do you think we've said enough interesting stuff? Probably not. <laughs> Let's think of something. I don't know. It's. I think this vlog is going to be pretty long because it's been 50 minutes. 50? 40. Yeah, oh my 40 gosh, minutes. I am so sorry. Well, we might have to cut some stuff out. The true fans will be around. Yeah. We're going to have to, it's probably going to be shorter because their camera kept turning off. Yeah. So it's it might weird. be weird. So, okay. Oh, well, well, unless you have something interesting mm, to talk about, I really don't. I just got a pack tonight. I already started making a list on my phone of things that I need to take, trying to keep it light. Even though it's a two-day training, I'm going to be technically gone for four days because I got to get there the day before and I can't leave till the day after. Yeah. So. I really want to do a video with my friend Chris. You should. Maybe while you're gone, I'll do that. Yeah. Just do like a Friday with Chris, but I don't know if he's available Friday, so it's just, you know. Right. But I would like to. That would be fun. Maybe he'll be available on Thursday. Yeah, maybe. So we'll see. Maybe I'll reach out to him today or tomorrow to see if he's available. That sounds good. Because that would be fun. Because Chris is really funny. and just Wasn't he supposed to join your special Tuesday tea talk with uh, Milky Way Matthew? Yeah. And it didn't work out. No, he joined. He was just like an hour something late. That's funny. So he thought it was a different time. But that's fine. It's not a big deal. Well, yeah, we'll see. Maybe Maybe I'll ask Chris to... Yeah, Chris Chat. is fun and interesting. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He has a and he has a voice like an angel. So, a singing voice. Mm-hmm. He sang at our wedding. Maybe he'll sing you a song. Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. I wonder if he ha- does. He have any songs that we I can listen to on YouTube? Uh, I don't. Uh, I think he has one or two. But That'd be nice. Yeah, he he's a great guy. So. All right, let's end it. Okay. Well, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your week. I hope you have a great Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and the rest of your week. If no one's told you this today, you are loved, and this world's a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You'll see Emily on Saturday. Bye.